checking subtraction with addition. We know 5 plus 2 equals 7, and 7 minus 2 equals 5. The related facts, they make a fact family, don't they? Well, we can use addition to check our subtraction. This is an addition sentence. If we do 7 minus 2, it'll equal 5. See? And if we check our subtraction, 7 minus 2 equals 5, by adding the difference and the subtrahend, it should equal that addend, shouldn't it? Addition is the opposite of subtraction, and subtraction is the opposite of addition. So this larger number is the minuend, this is the subtrahend, and this is the difference. We can have 36 and take away 15. 6 minus 5 is 1, and 3 minus 1 is 2. Our difference is 21. If we add this 21 and this 15, the difference and the subtrahend, and it equals our minuend, then we know we did it correctly. And it doesn't matter which order we add them in, right? The commutative property says that we can add them in either order. It's just important to subtract them in the correct order. We start with the difference, and we add the subtrahend, 15, see? If it equals the same amount as the minuend, 36, 36, yes it does, then we know we did it correctly. Let's take a look at this one. There were 43 dogs at the shelter, 24 of them were male. How many were female? We circle the important numbers. The 43 is the total of the dogs, and 24 of them are male. How many were female? We need to subtract 43 minus 24. When we find the difference, that's how many females there will be. We can see the 4 is bigger than the 3, so we need to regroup. The 4 becomes a 3. The 3 becomes a 13. 13 minus 4 is 9. And 3 minus 2 is 1. We can check our answer, our difference, by using addition. We put our difference, 19, up here as an addend. We add it together with the subtrahend and try to make it equal to 43, the minuend. 9 plus 4 is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We regroup the 1 and put the 3 down, and 1 plus 1 plus 2 is 4. We got the right answer. We got 43, the same thing as the minuend, see? That's the same. We just moved the difference up here and added it to the subtrahend, see? Let's try it again. We have 96 minus 42. Do we need to regroup? We're going to look at the 1's place. This 2 is smaller than the 6, so no, we don't need to regroup. 6 minus 2 is 4, and 9 minus 4 is 5. And now we move our difference up here as an addend. We add the difference to the subtrahend. We add these two together. 4 plus 2 is 6. 5 plus 4 is 9. We got the same amount as our minuend, so we know we did it correctly. Let's try it again. We have 54 minus 37. We look at the 1's place and see the 7 is bigger than the 4, so we need to regroup. The 5 is going to become a 4, and the 4 is going to become a 14, won't it? 14 minus 7 is 7, and 4 minus 3 is 1. Now we put the 17, this is the difference, we put it up here as an addend. We add it to the subtrahend, the 37. And we're going to try to get 54 as our answer. 7 plus 7 is a double. That's 14. We regroup the 1 and put the 4 down. 3, 4, 5. We got a 54, just like the minuend, so we know we did it correctly. Let's try it one more time. We've got 78 minus 20. Do we need to regroup? No. 
8 take away 9 is 8. 7 take away 2 is 5. We put the 58 up here as an add end. We add them. 8 plus 0 is 8. 5 plus 2 is 7. We get the same thing as the menu end, and we know we did it correctly. Let's try it again. We have 48 minus 12. Do we need to regroup? This 2 is smaller than the 8, so no, we don't. We can have 8 and take away 2. That's a 6. And 4 take away 1 is 3. We put the 36, the difference, up here as an add end. We add it to the subtrahend. 6 plus 2 is 8. 3 plus 1 is 4. We've got the same number as the menu end. We know we did it correctly. Let's try it again. 51 minus 34. We look at the 1's place. This 4 is larger than the 1, so we do need to regroup. This 5 is going to become a 4. The 1 is going to become an 11. 11 minus 4 is 7. 4 minus 3 is 1. Now we're going to add this difference to this subtrahend. 7 plus 4 is 11. We regroup the 1 and put the 1 down here. 3, 4, 5, 51. That was our original menu end, so we know we did it correctly. All right? So checking our math is important because we all make mistakes. And checking will help us fix our mistakes, especially if we're taking a test. Now look at this one. We did 56 minus 17 and got a 49. When we took the 49 as an add end and added it to the subtrahend, we got a 66. So a little plus is saying there's a mistake in the subtraction. Do you see what happened? The 7 is larger than the 6, and we should have regrouped. That 5 should have become a 4. The 5 should have become a 4, and then we gave a 10 to the ones place, so the 6 became a 16. 16 minus 7 is 9. 4 minus 1 is 3. See? So it shouldn't have been 49. It should have been 39. Now when we add the 39 to the subtrahend, the 17, we do get 56. 9 plus 7 is 16. We regroup the 1 and put the 6 down. 3, 4, 5. 56. It worked. So it can help you on your homework or when you're taking a test to check your subtraction with addition. You can even check your addition with subtraction, all right? We're going to continue on talking about two digits and subtraction, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.